What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Dave saying that he wants to get the grab done on Foreskin doing the reverse rainbow perk challenge. So that's what we're we'll going to be doing today. And just in case you guys don't know what the reverse rainbow perk challenge is, is that we get the perks in order of their color, but backwards. And the order that he gave me was Tombstone, Deadshot, PhD, Quick Revive, Mule Kick, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, Death Perception, Jug, and then Elemental Pop. And also, if you want to leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see us do next, I'll have all the weapons that we have completed on screen here. So make sure you check this list before leaving suggestions so we don't get any repeats. Anyways, we just got this grab leveled up on stream. Shout out to those of you that come by the streams while we're getting our weapons leveled up. But for our loadout here, we're going to go with the Microflex LED for our optic, a SOCOM eliminator for our muzzle, task force for our barrel, Ember sighting point for the body, bruiser grip for the underbarrel. Going with a 50 round mag here because I think that's the highest mag that you can get on this weapon. The speed tape for our handle and SAS combat stock for our stock. And our camo progress, we actually have quite a bit done for this. It took a while to get this thing leveled up for whatever reason. I think I might try out some new methods for leveling because I know Onslaught's pretty good for leveling up, but I don't want to get too many camos, but it seems like I'm still getting a lot of camos in Outbreak anyway, so I got to find some sort of balance here. Rotten, we're almost done with. This one's always going to be pretty filled up if we're leveling up. For critical kills, we still need 1,300, which is a lot. Uh, Brushstroke, we just needed like 1,000 for 400, five, damn near 1,000. I don't know. Don't ask me math. Vintage is done. Fauna is done. <coughs> Excuse me. Topo is done. Infection. We're one out of 10 here. We should be able to get this done pretty easily. And I have this reticle on here. And for our accessories, I have this as our charm, our little ball sack. So we're bringing our ball sack into Forsaken with Ring of Fire. And let's see if we can get this thing done. All right, here we are running on into Forsaken. And I'm kind of interested in how this, this perk challenge is going to work out. Because on Forsaken, this is probably the best map to do it. I think it has every single perk like machine in the game. So we're going to try to get every perk from its own individual machine instead of just going to the Wonder Fizz and buying them in that order. You know, add a little bit more spice to this. And also, I'm going to try to stay in the spawn room for a little bit. We're going to try to rack up some cash before we move on. But I talked about this in our uh, last video of us getting the Sledgehammer Diamond in Multiplayer. Uh, I know some people that watch the zombie stuff don't really watch the multiplayer stuff, so I'm going to reiterate it here. But if you guys were around the channel last year, uh, I went like out of town for a few weeks and I'm gonna be doing the same thing here in about a month, but I'm still gonna keep the content going. So don't worry, there'll still be videos to watch. I'm trying to find a way to be able to do the videos ahead of time. And you know, normally I could just sit down and record them. But what we do is we have you guys comment of like what weapons you wanna see us do next and everything. So I'm trying to find a way for me to record these videos ahead of time, but also keep the interaction with you guys. Because if we're waiting, like, if I'm putting out one video of this a week and we're waiting like a whole week to see what gets top comment, then I'm not going to be able to record these at a time if it's taking a week for each one. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get these videos done while like keeping your guys input in, in, in mind. I don't like to keep you guys in the dark. I like uh, interacting with you guys, having you guys, you know, pick what weapons we're doing and everything. So I was thinking maybe we just do all the melee weapons while I'm gone or at least like most of them. If you guys would be down with that. And then for the videos, I think I'll probably still do the intros while I'm down there, but I won't like uh, be recording as much. You know, I need a little bit of time off here and there. So for, for those intros, I'll just show like some comments that I like throughout the week, like somebody saying, I know something nice about the channel, what they like about it or just something funny. Like, I don't think it matters. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of just looking for some suggestions here because that's what I'm leaning towards doing. But if you guys got something better in mind, we can try that out as well. Or maybe I could put out like polls on the on like the channel page or like on Twitter or something like what do you guys think will work best. Oh, no, please don't go down here. Let's ring a fire. We'll rack up some kills. Oh, nuke. Go away so I can grab these double points, please. Okay, give me those double points. Let's stun all these guys. Get a little extra from it. We're going to be rich by the time we're out of here. We're already making our way up through the jackrabbit metals. Uh oh, ring of fire. Please don't knock me. Ooh, barely surviving, staying alive and another double points. Love to see it. We're getting really low on ammo for this thing, though. So let's buy some all right here. Everybody go ahead and get on the decoy for me. Make these crits easy. Beautiful. Look at that. It was just a wall of yellow text. The graph is actually not doing too bad. We already have a blue rarity from us doing the Easter egg or the super Easter egg. We're also only one Easter egg away. We'll be doing that later this week. So be on the lookout for that. But the graph seems like it's got decent power. It doesn't have nearly as much ammo as our carve did. Or what was it? It wasn't the carve. It was the C58 that we did last time that had the what looked like an infinite ammo glitch. The grav does not have anywhere near that kind of ammo, but it does have a lot of firepower. We already have 35,000 here. Let's go ahead and throw down another decoy, rack up some crits. This is nice. We're kind of dominating in this first room, but now that I'm talking about it, we might just get messed up. All right, let's do one more ring of fire and then we'll get out of here. 
So let's pop it. Just rack up these kills. Hopefully we can survive. Oh yeah, we're chilling. Oh, there's threshold. We're at 1,500 crits already. So we're at 1,248. We should be done. And we're still racking up those jackrabbits somehow. Don't even know how we're getting them in here with how many zombies just spawn. Oh yeah, I'm round 14. Even without rampage inducer, the rounds go fast in here. This is probably like my favorite first room in this game. A lot of fun to grind in here. I'm tempted to keep doing more, but I'm only going to make the game more difficult for myself. So let's hop through. Let's grab our loose change from Jug. Also, another thing about this rainbow perk challenge or the reverse rainbow perk challenge is that some of the perks go out of order. I'm pretty sure no matter what, Quick Revive will slide its way all the way over to the left. So there's nothing I can do about that, but I will buy all of them in order. They just might not show up in order on the bottom. At least Quick Revive won't. But to start off our perk challenge, let's grab Tombstone. That's our first one. And next is Deadshot, which is I'm, I'm very thankful for. That is very close there to the top. One of the first perks that we grab. Let's make our way over here to the portal. Open up. Let me through. And let's start getting this thing opened up. So do this. Knife that. Grab our token. Grab this loose change. This loose change. This loose change. A lot of loose change on this map as well. All these perk machines, all these arcade machines. Oh, please don't knock me. Stay away. Give me that part. Grab loose change from Mule Kick. And where's our TV? There it is. Let's open up the bar. That way we can get our second perk. I'm going to pause just to make sure that we're going in the right order. Yeah, we got Tombstone. Next is Deadshot, then PhD. So Deadshot, Loose Change, and Perk. Come here. Let's open this up. Where's our fry cage? Come on over. And head on over to the theater. Where's your flashlight? Got it. Almost missed our, our Loose Change over here. Let's grab that. Let's put the portal together. There we go. Don't kill me. Stay back. Oh, leave me alone. Uh-oh. This is scary. This is bringing back flashbacks when I did this Easter egg. All right. On the decoy you go. Give me those crits. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, zombies. Appreciate it. Oh, there's Rotten. All done with our normal kills. Oh, all this time we've taken in the first room and just messing around doing this. Our pack-a-bunch kills are going to be a little bit behind. I'm sure it won't take that long to catch up. And I'm out of ammo. Okay, we're out of here. Head on through. Open up the store. I probably shouldn't have killed that last zombie because now we're going to have to fight the Abomination and the... the, the, the Jeez, holy crap. I don't think I've stuttered that hard in a long time. But not only are we going to have to fight this abomination, but we're going to have to fight the whole wave of zombies for this round. Oh, come here. One kiss for every head. Oh, great. We got mimics too. Oh, no. Maybe this was a mistake. I got too cocky in that first room. Now we got to try to find a way to survive over here. Double points, come here. All right, now we just got to bunker down. I don't think any more zombies are spawning, so let's just post up right here. Pop the ring of fire and let everything, or just let loose. Light everything up. Yeah, come on through, Abomination. You can't go back through that portal. That can't save you. You're the pug of Margwas. There we go. Got him sleeping and finished off the round. That's how we do it. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and upgrade our armor. Get that up to three. Nice and easy. Time to head through the portal. And just to make sure that I'm right, do we get PhD next? We do. We do get PhD next. So let's lift our lockdown. There we go. Grab the loose change from PhD and we can grab it. Let's go ahead and pack a punch as well while we're here. Let's grab cryo. Let me get rid of the webcam. This is what pack a punch one looks like on the grab. Very nice. You can see it's little anal beads on the side there. That's so, that's such a silly thing to have on a gun, but it looks real nice with this camo. Let's go ahead and pack it again. There we go. We can't get it pack three yet, but we're pretty close and I need to get out of here before I die. Let's go through here. And what is the perk after this? I'm pretty sure it's Quick Revive, right? Yep, Quick Revive's next. So this is the one that might just slide all the way to the front. Abomination, you need to leave. You gotta get out of here, man. You're ruining the vibe, man. You're scaring the hose. There we go. We're up the truck spot. Just want to throw that out there. Can't believe they took the truck away from me. Those are glitch camo. We're really close to getting our jackrabbits done. All right, now let's go grab Quick Revive from its own machine. Pretty sure it's right over here. Yep, there's Quick Revive. Let's grab its loose change. And just so you know... I ain't cheating on the perk challenge. Watch it. Watch the quick revive go right to the front. Oh, wait. No, it stayed at the end. What? Does it normally do that? I feel like it always goes to the front whenever I buy it. All right. Well, maybe I just always buy quick revive early. Maybe it's just when you go down and slide to the front. I don't know. I'm not complaining, though. We can keep it in rainbow order. What's after quick revive? Let's try to get all these perks done. Mule kick is next. Mule kick is at the arcade. So let's go there. There's mule kick. One of the cooler machines in this game and the most effective trap. Let me let me show you guys something real quick. Some of you may not even know that there is a trap on this map, which is this helicopter. If we go ahead and activate it. This thing will probably get like, what, 10 kills or something. It does a fake little fly around. It shoots at some zombies. It takes like 45 bullets to even kill one zombie. 
So, so far we got two kills, three kills, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still at eight. This thing's completely missing zombies. Now it's at nine. And ten. And then it's done. It kills ten zombies and it's like, ah, I'm tired. I'm done. How much did that cost? Oh, it's cooling down. I'm pretty sure it was like 2,000, something like that. So if you were to grab Mule Kick as your first perk instead, which would be 2,500, I'm pretty sure is what the first perk costs. So not very expensive. So now I'm going to train these zombies up and show you how many zombies the Mule Kick trap can kill. All right, I think we have all the zombies in the round so far trained up. Let's head over here, casually grab our Mule Kick really quick. I'm going to double check that it is Mule Kick that we're grabbing next because I don't want to ruin this. Yeah, quick revive, then Mule Kick. Got it. So come here, Mule Kick. Look at this. It's already killed 10 zombies. Look at that. Why is Mule Kick the most effective trap in this game? Traps are so useless in Cold War. And a fraction of the time that the helicopter trap goes through, the Mule Kick kills like damn near triple the amount of zombies. Okay, Speed Cola is next. It is green, the only other green perk. But I'm not confident in my ability to remember things. So I'm looking. Yep, Mule Kick, then Speed Cola, then Stamina. So let's grab our loose change from here and go ahead and pick up. There we go. Wait, why did Tombstone move? See, all right, this is what I'm talking about. Nothing's happened, but my perks have moved order. I don't know why it does that, but it does, and we're stuck with it. So even though we grab Tombstone first, it's no longer the one all the way on the left, and then we grab Death Perception after, that one stayed in second. So it's like Tombstone and Quick Revive switch places. I think that's there just because if you go down with Quick Revive, you need Quick Revive to get back up, so you save your first three perks. But it's kind of annoying when doing a rainbow perk challenge. So next is Stamina Up, so we need to go back through the portal for that one. That's over by Ronald Reagan. What's going on, Stamina Up? Give me your loose change. Let's grab you. And then after Stamina Up, it's Death Perception, then Jug, and then Elemental Pop. So Death Perception is real easy. We're always grinding this spot. Come on over here. And now let's go back through the portal and grab Jug. Come here, Jug. There we go. And we don't have enough money to get Elemental Pop, and I kind of don't even really want it, but we're going to have to grab it. I think for the Rainbow Perk Challenge, we need to get all the perks for it. So let's rack up some money. We need the funds for it. Oh, there's Conviction. We're all done with our Jackrabbits. Beautiful. Don't got to worry about those anymore. Oh, of course, double points when there's two zombies left in the round. Love to see it. And then Elemental Pop is right over here in Burger Town. Come here, Elemental. There we go. Got all of our perks. Got them all in order. And now it's just time to get this thing Dark Aether. Hopefully Elemental Pop doesn't stand in the way very much. But we do get to enjoy Electric Cherry for a bit. How many crits are we at? 490? We're about halfway to where we need to be. Maybe a little under. Let's go back to spawn. And I think I'm going to Rampage Inducer this. Add a little extra layer of challenge. Oh shit. If I go down, do I have to buy them all back in the same order? I'm going to go ahead and say yeah. But if I go down, can I use the Wonder Fizz? Maybe not the first time, you know, to punish myself. But other times, I'm going to use the Wonder Fizz. Now let's turn on this Rampage Inducer and get this thing going. But then we got a Ring of Fire ready and just start smacking zombies around. I'm going to go ahead and throw out my prediction for what round I'm getting out of here. I'm going to say round 31. I think that's a pretty fair guess. I think 31's fine. Yeah, this thing definitely suffers from a lack of ammo. Only capping out at 99 rounds. I'm sure there's like a few attachments I have on here that get rid of like my max ammo capacity but ars could have so much more ammo than this especially since we've seen the c58 like the grab feels kind of weak you know ammo capacity wise not that bad of a gun though it's kind of tearing i'm not gonna lie it's been doing a good job it's holding up uh oh stay away from me on the decoy for me please about the ring of fire oh why the nuke as i throw a decoy in ring of fire it's just gonna be like yeah you just did all that for nothing cool got it all right, I'm starting to see a little bit of a damage fall off, but that's probably because I have not upgraded this at all. We've just been rocking with the blue that we came in with. We need to get this thing to purple. How much scrap am I at? Oh, we can definitely do it. I just got to find an opening. Holy shit, a lot of zombies. Mimic, you might have just saved my life. Thank you, Mimic. All right, ring of fire's going out. The zombie's going down. This is so much more intense with Rampage Inducer on. Holy shit. Okay, there's like two zombies left in the round. Actually, there's a little more than two. There's a lot more than two. Guys, can we all just get along? Upgrade our gun to purple. Perfect. We got it off. I just really don't want to go down. I don't want to have to rebuy all the perks at their own machines. That's going to take a minute. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's getting way too intense to sit by a death perception without a ring of fire. So I know for sure I'm going to die. So I'm going to run around until I have a ring of fire. And then once I do, we're going back to death perception and we're popping it. Oh, we also have enough for pack three. That will probably help with our damage. Now let's go grab that real quick. All right, let's grab pack three. And this is what pack three looks like on the grav. Please inspect for me, game. Thank you. 
Looks very nice. Like a sunset glitch camo with the anal beads on it. Pretty cool. Pretty nice looking gun. Very good coverage, actually. This thing's going to look sick with Dark Aether. I almost forgot about Pack-A-Punch, like, entirely. I was so focused on the perks and then trying to survive that Pack-A-Punch didn't even... It, it, there wasn't even an inkling of a thought of Pack-A-Punch. You know what I was just thinking about? Imagine how easy... Cold War zombies would be if there was double tap and there was zombie shields in this game. You would never go down, and if you did, you have so many ways to get back up. It'd be the most OP possible thing, but I think that'd be kind of fun. Like, if there's options to turn on zombie shields for each map, and if you grab double tap from, like, the Wonder Fist, ooh, that would be insane. What's up, Abomination? Good thing I have a ring of fire going, otherwise you'd be scary. But now you're dead. So lick balls. Oh, let's get this thing to gold. I didn't realize I had enough salvage. Now we got this thing at its max potential. And it's still kind of slaying. Just wish I had more ammo. No, why is a nuke always spawn right on me while I'm popping my ring of fire? Stop doing that. Any zombies want to spawn back in? We got the rampage inducer going. There we go. Get at least some use out of this ring of fire. Nukes and insta kills just destroy the fun while grinding. All right, we're only two rounds away from my prediction. Can we make it out? I used to do these predictions all the time. I, I've been forgetting. I used to be spot on sometimes too. As long as we get all headshots in these next two rounds, we can get out of here. Oh, there's chemical all done with Pack-A-Punch. Forgot that was even a thing. But we were a little behind on it. Now we're done. Seems like it still surpassed our crits, even though we spent a long time in the starting room. All right, can we get it done this round? Oh, there's the level up. Did we get it? Are we done? Quick stun? Nope, we didn't get it. Not yet, at least. We're very close though. 1,165 crits. All right, we're on our round. Round 31, we need about less than 100 crits, I'm pretty sure. So if there's 100 zombies in this next round, we got it. Abomination, time to sit down. Don't charge at me. Uh-oh. Throwing out stuns. So we can get this abomination out of here. Please don't down me. Please don't down me. We're so close to being done. Thank you. Oof. Now I can't see anything because he inked all over me. Oh my god, that was stressful. We were so low on health there for a second. He had us in this corner. Uh-oh, I'm starting to feel the no armor piercing attachments on this. Zombies are starting to show up with helmets on and it's not breaking through. But this should be it. We're at 1,224. We need like 20 more kills maybe. So we come on over here. We toss out a stun. Throw on our ring of fire. We should be golden. This is it right here. Gold Viper, baby. Pop up. Let me see it. There we go. With two zombies to spare in the round. We got out right on the prediction. Let's go. Oh, and there's still Exfil. There's still time. Let's see if we can make it. Please don't expire, Exfil. I'm coming. This way's faster if I go this way and then through the portal. Come on. Don't you expire on me. Oh, uh, no. I was in the middle of doing it, Ravenoff, you dickhead. All right. Well, zombies, you earned this one. Come take me out. I'm done. Let's look at our final stats here before I start going down. We have 1,569 eliminations. Wait. Sex. 1,252 crits. Zero vibes, zero downs until right about now. Oh, we won the round. That's cool. All right. Well, I'll see you guys when we're checking out the camos. All right. Let's check out what the mastery camos look like on the grav here. Here is Gold Viper. Very nice. Covers about basically the whole weapon. The a the accent metal on this weapon, the, the matte black, actually looks really good. It covers some pretty good spots here. It accents the, the Gold Viper very well. Plague Diamond always looks smacking. Show me a bad Plague Diamond or Diamond camo. I'm waiting. Even the, even the little butt plug back here, the little anal beads. Got some diamonds on it. Dark Aether looks sick. It covers the whole gun. Even this huge mag here gets the coverage all on it. Very nice weapon. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in-game with Dark Aether. All right, here we are on Zoo. I've been trying to change up what map we go on. I don't think I've ever played the multiplayer version of Zoo. It looks a lot different than it does in Outbreak. But here is what the grav looks like with Dark Aether. This thing is beautiful. Let me try to get into the light really quick. There's got to be a better spot. Ooh, maybe right up here is a good spot. There we go. This gun looks beautiful. So much coverage. This looks sick. I mean, right now we're kind of getting a bad pattern. We're getting that obsidian pattern. Let's give it a second. I still don't understand why the gun looks so vibrant when it's like in my hands, like holding it like this. You see how pink it is? And I inspect it and it goes so dark. Why does that happen? Either way, this gun's got amazing coverage, insane coverage, one might say. And it honestly is not too bad in zombies at all. Like this is real nice. Uh, anal beads included. Look at this thing. That's probably the best coverage we're going to get, or the best pattern on it. Beautiful. Anyways, there you have it. We got our grav done, so make sure you leave a suggestion down below of what weapon you want to see us do next. Make sure you check that list we put at the beginning of the video so we don't get any repeats. But I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So if you guys like this, if you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. 
If you're new here, please start subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. If you want, go ahead, head on over to my Twitter. We did a little teaser for my Digino Gaming episode if you want to see that. But I think that just about covers everything. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.